Water treatment. Ravi is having fever. He is diagnosed with typhoid fever, that is a waterborne disease. But what are waterborne diseases now and how did Ravi get infected? Waterborne diseases are caused when viruses and bacteria and other microscopic organisms are ingested in our body through contaminated water. So, to protect ourselves from these infections, it is very important that we have access to water that is free from contamination. Now, the most common method is boiling water. Boiling or heating water is the most widely and effective method to kill disease-causing germs. In fact, do you know why chlorine is added in swimming pools? Chlorine is added to the water to kill germs. When it is added to a swimming pool, it forms a weak acid called hypochlorous acid that kills bacteria. Apart from this, do you know that even fluoride is added to water? Now, you might be thinking that it helps in removing contamination or make water taste good and aerated like soft drink. No, this is because it helps to prevent tooth decay. Let us understand how. Now, our tooth actually has a hard outer covering which is called the enamel. That is made up of hydroxyapatite, which is a compound of calcium, phosphorus and hydroxide. Now, when bacteria in our mouth feed on these food particles, they produce acid that dissolves the hydroxyapatite. So, what is left behind is a residue of calcium and phosphate ions that is responsible for tooth decay. Now, when we drink water containing fluoride, the fluoride binds with calcium and phosphate ions forming fluorapatite that is less susceptible to acid attacks and so it helps to stop the tooth decay process. Can you identify some methods to treat contaminated water? Thank you and happy learning!